Hey, welcome to another segment of Sweaty Comic Book Nerds. I'm John Schnepp. Sitting across from me is Comic Book Girl 19. Thanks for coming. Hi, guys. This segment, we are going to be talking about the big blue Boy Scout himself, Superman, and some of the most amazing comic books that this guy has appeared in. As you know, I've been doing this documentary about the Superman Lives movie that never got made, The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened. You'll be able to see that very soon. If not, you're watching it right now after you watch this segment. Um, but until then, we're going to talk about some of the comic books that changed our lives and, what, and the ones that you should actually read if you haven't. What's your favorite? My favorite, hands down, is All-Star Superman, uh, Grant Morrison. I never really understood the character of Superman until I read this. I didn't appreciate him because I thought he was the big blue boy scout. I was like, eh, he's boring. He's, he can do whatever he wants, whatever. But this really showed his vulnerabilities and showed just what... What an amazing archetype he is, you know, and how he's really just kind of like this this modern god for us. And I just, I love Grant Morrison's take. Yeah, Grant Morrison is the myth writer. Mm -hmm. He takes mythos, like comic book characters, and adds so much to that. He just, he takes things that we've taken for granted, breaks them apart, recontextualizes them, and makes them more important. Yeah, I mean. When you combine him with Frank Quietly, with that all-star Superman, that is a classic. All 12 issues are just perfect storytelling. Yeah, so, so great. And I, I love Lex Luthor in that, too. You know, you got your Lex in there, and he's just classic Lex. And I love that Grant Morrison writes him with being obsessed with eyebrows. You know, it's mm -hmm. just hilarious. Like, and he's drawing on his own eyebrows. It's so kooky and so much fun. I just love it. Yeah, that's a fantastic comic. If you haven't checked that out, I highly suggest reading that. For me, I'm going to go back old school style and talk about the rebirth of Superman done in the 80s, done by John Byrne. He's writer-artist of classics like the X-Men. He jumped over to DC to basically jumpstart the Man of Steel with a comic book called The Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. And it retold Superman's origin with a brand new take, redid Krypton, redid all the characters, made Lex Luthor more of a businessman, not an evil scientist, added so much different flavors to it that now we just take for granted. If you've never checked out the 1986 run by John Byrne, that's one I would say buy the six issue uh, miniseries called Man of Steel. It's really worth reading. Uh, a great modern retelling of Superman's origins, I feel like, is Superman Birthright by Mark Wade and Lena Liu did amazing artwork for that as well. Uh, but that one's a great one if you want to just somewhere to start. This is a great one. It just goes through uh, Clark Kent and really talks about Kent becoming Superman right. and why he makes these decisions and his kind of first first year out kind of taking care of Metropolis. And so that, that one's a really great starting point for people who are interested in Superman. I'll say one of my favorite single issues that I've ever read and one that's really worth owning is Alan Moore's annual, Superman annual, called For the Man Who Has Everything. It's illustrated by Dave Gibbons, and it basically has Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman with Robin. They go to the Fortress of Solitude to hang out. Who's waiting there? Mongol with this creepy alien flower that puts Superman in a coma and then he's like knocking, like fighting Wonder Woman. You've never seen Wonder Woman go toe to toe with someone. He, she's fighting Mongol while Superman is in a coma, imagining that Krypton never blew up and he's growing up having an entire life on Krypton. It is fantastic. It is one of the greatest takes of the Superman character by just taking it apart. Alan Moore's one, one, just like Grant Morrison, a great storyteller. Will take the elements there, mix them up a little bit, and give you something brand new so that you have a different take on those characters. That's it for us for Superman. Thanks for tuning in. Check out some of those Superman comic books because you should really learn about the, the history of Superman and enjoy these comics that we're telling you. We'll be back with more Superman stories next time. Comic Book Girl 19, where can people find you? Check me out on YouTube, uh, Comic Book Girl 19. That's my channel. I'm always there. Awesome. Thanks again. I'm John Schnepp. Thanks for tuning in to Sweaty Comic Book Nerds. I'll see you guys next time.